addiction used to be considered a lack of willpower that could be overcome with sufficient effort and restraint. We now know that misuse of substances disrupt brain circuits related to pleasure and reward and that chronic substance use actually alters brain structures. These changes can persist long after a person stops using these substances, increasing risk of relapse. Addiction to opioids, prescription pain relievers, heroin and synthetic opioids such as fentanyl is a national crisis. The epidemic impact has been vast, disproportionately affecting military personnel and veterans and estimate put the annual US economic burden for prescription opioid misuse alone at more than $504 billion. NIH supported research has led to effective strategies that can be implemented right now to save lives and to prevent and treat opioid addiction. For example, Narcan nasal spray can revive individuals from opioid overdose. NIH is working with other federal agencies and the pharmaceutical industries to develop new medications and technologies to prevent and treat opioid addiction. In this video, we are going to discuss how to protect your family from the opioid epidemic. So let's go to the video to find out what are opioids, how opioids can lead to addiction, effects on children and teens, what can parents do. What are opioids? Opioids are a category of highly addictive narcotic substances that include prescription pain medicine and illicit opioid like heroin. They are products of synthetic versions of the opium produced in small amounts by poppy plants. Large doses can slow body's heart and breathing rate to the point of stopping completely. Killing more than pain According to the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, 128 people in the United States die every day from an opioid overdose. Prescription opioids are found in millions of households across the country. In fact, the US consumes the majority of the world's prescription opioid supply. According to the CDC, there have been more opioid prescriptions reported in some states than there are people living in those states. How Opioid Use Can Lead to Addiction Opioids produce short-term positive feelings by mimicking the body's natural endorphins. In addition to decreasing pain, many experience a rush or high, while others feel improved mood and or reduce anxiety or stress. These effects are short-lived and with continued use, people quickly develop tolerance to opioids, needing higher doses to try to reach the same effects. When they stop using, they may experience withdrawal symptoms such as anxiety, sweating and flu-like symptoms. When this happens, people's opioid use shift to focus on reliving and preventing withdrawal. For many people who develop addiction to prescription opioids, when their prescription runs out, they may start buying drugs from dealers or turn to another opioid heroin. Studies show 4 out of 5 new individuals using heroin started by prescription painkillers for non-medical purposes. The opioid epidemic's effects on children and teens. Addiction doesn't care. Addiction harms children and teens in many ways. Families may be broken apart when a parent is arrested and sent to jail for buying or selling opioids. Parents who develop addiction may become unable to prioritize the needs 
of their families and children. Heartbreaking news describe tragic example of babies who died of thirst or starvation for example after their parents overdose. Prenatal exposure Babies exposed to opioids during pregnancy can be born with neonatal opioid withdrawal syndrome. Federal reports show that a baby with nous or neonatal abstinence syndrome was born every 15 minutes. Facing lengthy hospital stays, babies with nous are more likely to have low birth weight, trouble breathing and eating, seizures and tremors, and can experience long-term problems with learning and behavior. Doctors encourage pregnant mothers who use opioids to reach out for treatment and recovery care and services and ask them for help. Poisoning and Overdose Children and teens hospitalized for opioid poisoning tripled between 1997 and 2012. Most of the overdose patients were teens, but the largest increase in poisonings was among toddlers and preschoolers. According to one study, children whose mothers are prescribed opioid face a much higher risk for unintentional overdose compared to children whose mothers received a non-opioid prescription such as ibuprofen for pain. What can parents do? Talk to your kids. Tell your children about how dangerous opioid drugs can be and why it's important to use them only and exactly as prescribed. Children who learn about the risk of drugs at home are less likely to use drugs than those who don't learn this at home. Make sure they understand that it is illegal to share opioid medications. More than half of individuals 12 and older who use pain relievers non-medically said they were given by brought from or taken from a friend or family member. Store medicine safely. Keep opioids and other prescription medicines up and away in secure place. Count and monitor the number of pills you have and lock them up. Do not allow your child or teen unsupervised access to these medications. Never let your child take someone else's prescription medication. Dispose leftover prescription medication. Return leftover prescription to a hospital, doctor's office or pharmacy. Many communities offer take back events to collect unused prescription medications. Use only when nothing else works. If your child has a surgical procedure, you may be concerned about how to help your child manage pain and discomfort. If your doctor has prescribed a pain reliever that contains an opioid, it is important to monitor your child's use of it. It should be taken exactly it should be taken exactly as prescribed and for the shortest time necessary. In this video we discussed about how to protect your family from opioid epidemic. If you got this video helpful, please give a thumbs up to the video. Don't forget to share this with your friends. Subscribe the channel for more important videos like this. Thanks for watching.